Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about quitting Google. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Frederick, I started working at Google about three months ago and I hate it. It is completely unbearable. Do you think I should quit or should I keep trying? Will leaving so soon impact my future job prospects? And if so, how long should I wait? Well, you, I would say that uh, three months is a little bit short. I'm going to be honest with you. you sh I, this is, of course, very subjective, so you have to take it for what it is. The normal ranges that companies feel comfortable with is going to be at a minimum around six months. Six months to a year is fairly it's a good range where you can job hop if you really want to be on the early side. Statistically, the sweet spot is two years. Two years is the most stable time to move from one company to another because that is the average. Uh, most developers switch jobs every two to four years, roughly. And so at two years, you have reached the point where you have really, like, because that's the thing that the, the future employer that you're going to go to is going to find a little bit concerning because when they see a uh, short term hire, the red flag that they're looking for is, oh, did you get fired or did you cause some issue or was there some problem that led to you staying there for such a short amount of time? Another one would be if you have a lot of those, if you have very a, a lot of uh, short-term hires, well, the first thing that they're going to think is, as I was saying, that is this person incompetent? Are you getting fired from all of this? Or in another scenario, they could also think, are you unfaithful? Like, are you the sort of person who's just, uh, is it even worth for us to get you in here? Or are you going to quit in two weeks? So that is the way of, and that's why job hopping uh, ideally should happen at a certain pace. Just don't try to do it as quickly as possible. Try to really pace it and be a little bit more instead uh, selective in the companies that you try to get into or where you start working. Because if you, I mean, if you don't like working at Google, that doesn't necessarily mean that you're not going to like working in an, in any company because you don't really give me much in terms of information here, what it is about Google that you don't like, why you hate, hate working there. There can be many things. It can be, I mean, one thing could be uh, just try this out. It's a very large company. See if you can switch teams. That might be something. Uh, I mean, uh, we had similar sorts of options at my last job where we like the, there were tons of teams like you could you could move to move between them assuming of course they were hiring i mean i have that today like even in my tiny little startup we have the same thing i've switched teams before when i got bored when i felt that oh this role that i'm doing right now that wasn't all that fun anymore i'll go over there and see what these dudes uh, uh, these uh, people over here are doing and see if if that's more fun and that might that was exactly the thing that I needed to continue feeling like yeah this is stimulating but let's just say that you have I don't know a problem that can't be solved by moving within the same well within Google then I suggest that you wait a little bit to around six months at the very least and then you can of course move from there one thing that I mean if you really do hate it and you want to s quit immediately uh, I would say have a good explanation. Even if you were, if you, even if you stick out, stick it out for a few more months, you should have a good explanation, because you might get the question. Okay, so why did you? Wh why were you only working at Google? Why did you want to leave Google? Or why did you stop working at your previous company? It doesn't have to be Google in this scenario for this to be true. It's practically for anybody who's switching jobs. Uh, you might get that question, and it's really good if you can prepare a good answer to that question and this is something that is for a senior developer who knows the lingo this is like it's nothing it's like flip, flipping a, a beetle away but for a junior developer this can actually be really tough because you don't know what answers are safe to give so the thing you should be aware of I can't really give you an a precise definition of this I'm just gonna give you a rough mindset of the sort of thing that your employer is looking for so when you give your answer why did you leave your last job what they w are afraid of you saying are things such as 
I got fired for low performance or I got fired because of bad attitudes. I, um, I couldn't get along with my co-workers or anything that would indicate that you got fired because you are a bad person or a, pro a, a troublemaker or you aren't flexible, you are not willing to adapt or anything like that. It's like, uh, how do I put, uh, a good mental picture is they're looking for a cog to put in a clock. And they want to figure out, first and foremost, if you are a cog, because if you're a rock, they don't want to put you into the clock. But the second thing they want to figure out is, are you a, a cog that will fit into the machinery? And if you communicate anything that makes them feel as if, oh, there's going to be a lot of churn here, there's gonna, you're not going to fit into this clockwork that we're trying to build, you're going to be a problem. And that is the reason why they feel most a lot of companies feel uncomfortable if you have short term hires, because that is an indicator. That is something that they take as an indicator, even though that might not be true. I mean, there are plenty of freelancers who only work for a few months at a time on a project. So, but but if that is the case, you can actually that that's a very good explanation. And uh, now you're working at Google, so that's probably not the case. But if you had been a freelancer, you could have given the answer. Oh well, I stopped after three months because the project was done. Like we shipped it, everybody was pretty much happy, and now I'm looking for the next thing. Uh, that's a very acceptable and very perfect answer. Or if if you're working in Google, you can also go and say something along the lines of, well, it was really fun and I learned a lot from working at Google. Um, the thing is, though, that the team I was working in, I, we did a lot of stuff that was sort of interesting, but I really want to do this stuff instead. And I couldn't really find a nice way of transitioning into that role in Google. So I looked at your company and I see that, hey, you're using this tool or you're doing that and so forth. And I thought that that's why I wanted to look for something different. And that is a very, very good answer that that that. that uh, the spirit of that answer is perfect because what you're communicating is that everything was working perfectly and you like you were getting along with people it was just that you had an internal desire to do something different that is a very normal thing it is like the most normal thing that you can imagine most senior developers who work for years and years and years that's the number one answer to this question that they will give you if they've been working in a large corporation for a long time and they all of a sudden want to start at a startup most of them are doing it for that exact reason because they feel bored or they feel like well i wanted to try something different because i know this stuff now and like i want to do something else after three months it's going to be hard for you to swing that yeah i was bored after three months so think it through a little bit but if you've been working there for three months and you say that, yeah, I wasn't really happy in Google simply because we were doing things in a certain way or so forth. And although that is great and it was working for that company, I think that I, I, want, I was looking for something different. That's all. So what I want you to take away from this is that on average, three months is a pretty short amount of time to work at a company. Ideally, the sweet spot, like the, the soft cap should be six months-ish. You can, of course, do it uh, in three months. And you, I mean, you can quit in two weeks. It's just that you should be aware of that some companies won't even want, like, they will look at that as a red flag. Some of them won't call you back if you do this often. And some companies will ask you a lot of the time, why are you leaving your position or so forth? And you should have a good answer to that. The absolute sweet spot, the perfect sweet spot is usually a year at the minimum. Uh, I would say two years is perfect. Uh, but as I, as I can imagine, that's not something you want to do. If you hate the place that you work at, you don't want to stay for longer than you absolutely have to. So even with three months, you can make it work. Try to make it to six months if you want to be on the shore side that you're going to have less issues with future employers. Have a great day.